What's going on guys? I'm Death Nation and this is another video that I'm doing for you guys. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. That's because I've been really busy. I just launched a brand new website for uh, video games. It's called GamingDeath.com. Uh, you can go on GamingDeath.com, you can see some reviews, get the latest news about video games, um, you'll even see some editorial pieces, you know, basically me spouting my mind. Um, I have another contributor on there whose name is Ivan. Um, he's a great writer, and I definitely think that you should guys, sh if you get a chance, you guys should definitely go and check it out. That's GamingDeath.com. Now, on to some of what I've been gaming lately. Uh, I have been playing Mass Effect 3. I'm about 10 hours into it. Um, I just can't bring myself to play it because I don't want the story to end. Um, I have seen some of the spoiler alert, some of the spoiler stuff for the uh, for the ending, and I just can't bring myself to see that. So I've just, you know, kind of put off playing it. Um, I'll take my time. I'll get through it now that I just beat the one game that I picked up last week that I really wanted to get through. And that was uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare in here, trying a new lighting setup. Um, now, most of the reviews on this game were terrible. And when I played for the first, like, two hours, I had no idea what people were complaining about, why it was such a bad game. You know, I had a lot of fun playing it. And, you know, I don't know if it's because of the nostalgia factor, because Resident Evil 2 is probably my all-time favorite PS2 game. But seeing, you know, some of the behind-the-scenes behind stuff, that was going on with this group of uh, umbrella operatives while that was taking place was kind of cool as well as some of the events of Resident Evil 3 that was happening. The biggest disappointment in this game for me was as a Resident Evil fan is there is a part where you are outside uh, RPD or Raccoon Police Department and this may be a little bit of a spoiler alert so if you don't want to know you can go ahead and skip ahead a few, a few minutes uh, not a few minutes, a few seconds um, as you walk outside, you're in the courtyard where, if you've ever played Resident Evil 3, where Brad Vickers finally bites the dust from Nemesis, and you know, as Jill in Resident Evil 3, you run into the PD because you can't take, that, take on the Nemesis, or if you take him down, you get a really cool weapon. I can't remember what it was right now. <clears throat> but in Resident Evil 2, if, you, if you're playing on normal and you run all the way to the RPD after the tanker explodes... Brad Vickers is down in that hallway. Uh, this, like, tunnel system under... Short little tunnel underneath. You know, stairway on either side. Uh, there's no evidence of the Nemesis and the Brad Vickers-Jill fight at all in this scene. As well as... Brad Vickers isn't in the tunnel like he should be. And right after this scene is the scene where Leon and Claire are in the police car and the zombies in the back and the tanker truck explodes, and that's where the game basically starts. Brad Vicker should be in that tunnel, and he's not, and that kind, kind of made me upset. Um, I wish that Capcom would have paid a little bit closer attention to that detail, at least. The gameplay itself is all right. Um, I had a lot of, a lot of trouble with the aiming, because you get a white dot on some guns with a laser sight, and I don't know which sight is where I'm going to be shooting. It's got a cool, like, you know, aim auto lock on mechanic. But at the same time, you know, my white dot will be over here, my red dot will be on the guy, and I'll shoot, and I'll shoot in between the two spots. Which is really annoying, and it, it's actually quite frustrating. Um, the best part about that game, so that uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, has been the fact of, you know, the customizable classes that they give you. You know, there's, I think, six or seven different, you know, operatives to choose from that have different abilities. You know, you have your medic, your demo guy, um, your close quarter combat person, your medic. You know, you have all the, your leader. You have all these, all these different, you know, regular class people to choose from, each with their own unique abilities. I've been playing as Four Eyes, who is like a tech specialist. She can throw stuff that make the zombies go and, you know, attract over there. She can take control of zombies and she can shoot human opponents and make them become become crimson heads and they just go ape crap. 
Um, the other game I picked up with Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City is SSX, which is actually still sealed. Um, I will get around to playing this after Mass Effect 3, and um, I need to play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Revelations, which I was playing before Mass Effect 3 came out. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. I picked it up because it was $30, and um, I'm a huge SSX fan, so I'm really looking forward to playing this. <clears throat> but I think that's going to do it for me for tonight. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, the best play, best way to do it is either in the comments below or you can tweet at me. I'm at Death of Nation. Um, go check out my website, GamingDeath.com. You know, the more views, the more stuff we're going to be posting up. I'm actually looking for more contributors right now who want to write about games, stuff like that. Um, check out my podcast. That's uh, Geek Talk Radio. You can find us on iTunes at Geek Talk Radio just by searching it. Or on Podbean, which is uh, geektalkradio.podbean.com. Remember to like this video if you liked it. And if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. I'm going to try to be getting back into more videos for you guys. So, I'm Death Nation, and I'm signing out. Peace.